In the past, whenever an artifact or ancient ruin was to rear its unexplainable head, funded parties would scramble to quickly rebury them within museum archives or to simply ignore and not publicly share such discoveries. As such, many of the sites that we cover here upon our channel are not only notoriously difficult to track down and study, but are also very often unfamiliar to our many viewers. One continues their way through the same journey as you and I, by perusing the many subjects we have already covered. The feelings of confusion as having never been confronted with said locations and data therein actually becomes a sense of predictability and a symptom of a much larger conspiracy. As we push on with more and more sites and artifacts, further compounding the proof of this cover-up and deepening our evidential arsenal regarding this ignored and in some cases suppressed history upon our planet, it is inevitable that sooner or later the movement will indeed begin to move. And this is our mission. The Inga Stone, located in the middle of the Inga River in Paraiba State, northeast of Brazil, an artifact like any other which has an unexplained and possibly controversial history is little known to the world. It is a rock formation which covers an area of approximately 250 meters squared. However, upon this enormous rock is an unknown language with quite possibly an untold story. 46 meters long and 3.8 meters high, there are etchings made all over this stone whose meanings, although extensively studied by some of the best minds on the planet, remain unknown and undeciphered. Several figures are carved in low relief, illustrations of animals, fruits, and human constellations like Orion and our very own Milky Way can be seen. Scholars presume that it was created by natives that lived in the area until the 18th century, although any compelling evidence to support this claim has yet to surface. Thought to depict animals, fruits, weapons, humans, possible ancient aircrafts or birds, and what appears to be a table of contents, with stories divided into sections with each symbol connected to the number of a chapter, what it says is not known. Ignatius Rolum, professor of Greek and Latin theology, argued the symbols were similar to ancient Phoenician carvings, while others felt the symbols were related to ancient ruins. An additional popular hypothesis is, of course, ancient aliens, since the Inga's symbols were so different to any others found. Some researchers, such as Claudio Quintans of the Parabeno Center of Ufology, has postulated that a spaceship landed in the Inga area during this ancient time, and the symbols were probably drawn by these extraterrestrial guests. An incredible stone, with a history we may one day unravel. The great city of London holds many secrets, drenched in ancient structures and often bustling with their still surviving ancient societies. It is a place where one can become lost in a vivid, rich, and well-documented history. However, some of the most interesting ancient stories attached to the city are often overlooked. And at 111 Cannon Street is an excellent example of this. Placed within a conspicuous box at the base of the building is what is known as the London Stone. Made from oolitic limestone, what is interesting regarding the London Stone is firstly its found location, the fact that it was buried some 18 feet under the ground, and also the possible past importance of the stone, stretching far back into forgotten history. Once shown in this position on the copper plate map of London dating to the 1550s and the woodcut map of the 1560s, the memory of its past importance, however, seems to have gradually faded over the centuries. It was described by the London historian John Stowe in 1598 as a great stone called London Stone, fixed in the ground very deep, fastened with bars of iron. The earliest reference he found was in a list of properties belonging to Christ Church. The list was within a gospel book given to the cathedral by Ethelstane, King of the West Saxons, dating as far back as 924. 
and although now having a mysterious origin, London Stone was still a very well-known landmark within medieval London. In 1450, Jack Cade entered the city with his men, striking the London Stone with his sword and claiming he was now lord of this city. Why did such a plain-looking stone at this specific location once hold such standing and importance within ancient Britain? By the turn of the 21st century, most of the stone's earliest history had been forgotten. However, in the 1960s, archaeologists began to realize the significance of its positioning, linking it to an alignment with many once-existing Roman buildings. Additionally, and strongly linking it to an extremely ancient relic, London Stone has been identified as a mark stone, and like many other Neolithically claimed structures, centered upon several ley lines passing through central London, now believed to have been an essential element in London's original sacred geometry. After substantial research, numerous individuals have come up with a controversial history regarding the London Stone now believing that the stone could, in fact, be the final surviving remnant of an ancient inhabitancy of London, possibly pre-Ice Age, far before the city we see today was ever in existence, and may actually be the only remaining surviving block from the ruin of this original city. How old is the London Stone? Was it really a part of a lost civilization city? a place we call London, we find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling. Megaliths continue to be an enigma of the ancient world and a strong piece of evidence for lost civilization. There are many of these enormous stones found all over the world. Some incorporate into ancient structures, now turning to dust due to their immense age. Some found abandoned now slowly being engulfed by millennia of geological accumulation, and some of the largest claimed as geological formations. Many of these stones, according to academia and their supportive sheeple, were left where they lay due to their immense scale. However, we feel this explanation is an attempt to conceal a lost, once highly capable civilization rather than an attempt to accurately understand the original intentions of their creators. For example, the stone of the pregnant woman of Baalbek, weighing in at more than 1,000 tons, was long explained away as having been left where it is found. This, due to its immense size, claimed as having been too large for our ancestors to move. This tale, still circulated by certain groups of thought, Regardless of the fact that, since this excuse was created, the stone has been found to be resting atop another, possibly of a larger scale, making the remnants of a stone wall once of unimaginable size. The weights that would have been involved in these constructions, their foundations, and indeed the weight-bearing features that were incorporated into the design of the builds are inconceivable to the modern man let alone our well-studied ancestors, which academia claims as their builders. Structures such as the Great Pyramids were undoubtedly calculated and carried out by a civilization of immense capability. For example, on a much smaller scale, yet still demanding unquestionably advanced knowledge of architecture, a structure we recently covered, the Treasury of Atreus, this enormous ancient dome also incorporates features indicative of advanced civilization. Known as a relieving triangle, this small triangular opening above the structure's enormous 120-ton lintel was included as a necessity to carry weight away from the doorway down the structure's design. This feature included to prevent undue stress on the stonework, undoubtedly contributing to the structure's longevity. These advanced architectural features, along with the original schematics of the building, were created by individuals with an incredibly advanced understanding of building methods. It is clear to all who investigate these features in detail, architectural characteristics shared throughout the ancient world, that they were simply not understood by our less capable, more recent ancestors. 
the mind-boggling calculations that were accurately made before the structures were undertaken are clear for any architect of the modern age to see. And when confronted with these details, many quickly realize just how astounding these ancient achievements were. This conclusion can be made absent the enormous blocks that were also included in the build. Regardless the fact that these stones were also a necessity to accomplish such feats, they are undoubtedly highly compelling.